Hi, and welcome to my video tutorial on Google Earth. First of all, if you do not have the Google Earth app, you can download it from the App Store. Um, secondly, because I am using Google Earth on a MacBook Pro, it would look slightly different on the iPad. However, the idea is just the same. Um, now, when you first pull up Google Earth, it might take a little while to load. Um, there we go. Your screen will have a full view of the Earth like this. Um, one of the main things you can do on Google Earth is type in an address into the search bar. Um, on the iPad, it will be located on the top right-hand corner, I believe. Um, however, mine is on the left. Um, as soon as you press enter or search, it will zoom your screen to a street view of that address you searched. Um, so let's try the Wyzetta High School, which the address is 4955 Annie Lane North Plymouth. Minnesota 5544. There we go. Six. Okay. Now it's zooming into the location I picked. Um, it will be a little fuzzy at first, but it will clear up eventually. There we go. There's the high school. Um, there we go. On the iPad, there are a few ways of looking around after you have typed in the address. Um, in order to zoom in on features, you can pinch your fingers together, which will zoom in like so. Um, if you spread your fingers apart, it will zoom out like that. Um, you can also rotate or spin your fingers in a clockwise or counterclockwise motion, um, which will give you different degrees of looking at things like this. And you can go 360, which is all the way around. Um, eventually, I'll get dizzy. There we go. Okay. Um, if you want to move to a different area, all you have to do is drag your finger across the screen, like I'm doing with my mouse. You can go back and forth. Um, as you're zoomed into an area, um, you can add different layers to see um, different parts of an area. Um, to do this, you can click on the button named Layers, which will be in the top left-hand corner, which is up here for you guys. Um, but for me it's down here. Um, and the button will be named Layers, I believe. Just plain layers. And a little pop-up screen will come up in the left-hand corner. Um, if you have certain layers on, icons will label what kind of building or something, whatever it is, it will label it. Um, if you turn off a layer, certain kinds of labels will not be visible. So, if I... let's go over this cross-section right here. If I turn my road label off, all the road names and road paths will disappear. If I turn it back on, they'll reappear. Um, lots of things are labeled. For example, um, Metro Transit is labeled. Um, I think Elm Creek Park um, Playfield, I believe, is labeled. Yep. And then... There's a Culver's over here somewhere. So restaurants are labeled to... Oh, there it is. Okay. See the little restaurant label is over here. Um, if you click on labels, like the Culver's, um, you can click on it there. The All the information about um, whatever you clicked on will pop up. For Culver's, it's just the address and the um, phone number, but that's about it. And there we go. Um, let's go back to the high school. Get all those neighborhoods. Okay. Um, one more thing you can do um, with the icons is you can click on photos of an area. So, like, this is the street that leads to um, the high school, which is right here. Um, and here, I think up here is another photo. Oh, yep, right there. It's a photo of the farm. Cute. Okay. Um, you can also click on Wikipedia, like, and a little thing will come up about why is that a high school for the Wikipedia entry it has. Um, I think you can do this with anything that has a Wikipedia entry. So, apparently, our why is that a high school has one. Um, one more thing you can do on the iPad is. Um, which I can't do on the um, MacBook Pro, I'm sorry, but I can't show you. Um, uh, you can have Google Earth locate your device on Google, um, like the screen. Um, if you click on the 
triangle icon in the top blue toggle bar, I think it is. Um, if you click on that, a pop-up will tell you that Google Earth would like to access your current location. And all you have to do is click OK, and it will begin to load and then pan your screen to your current location, no matter where you um, were looking earlier. Um, which I think is pretty sweet. So, I think that concludes my somewhat brief video tutorial. Um, these are just the basics of Google Earth. Um, I encourage you to just poke around a little bit um, on the app and figure more about it, because um, that's how I learned. So, I wish you guys the best of luck and have fun!